What's going on guys? It's Calvin FPL back again with another FPL video for you all. Hope you're all doing good. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Game Week 5 and then we're also going to be talking about Game Week 6 as well. My possible, you know, bus team or locked in team because I've already felt trigger happy and I've done my transfer. Yes, I know we've got European Football Champions League is back. If you haven't checked out the video already of me doing a UEFA Champions League fantasy video, if you're a fan of UCL fantasy, I've just done that right now. It's before this video. Uh, link in comments and description. Do check it out, guys. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. The Forest Burnley game just finished 1-1. Burnley nearly got a winner, uh, but it was just handball. It was caught on VAR. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy about that clean sheet wiped out for Turner owners out there. Uh, but I've got 54 points. I know it says 45, but you can see like I've got the likes. So we'll get to, the, get to that in a minute. But uh, basically, I've got like uh, Gusto and uh, Anderson coming off the bench. So I've got 54 points this week. I know this week was very, very annoying for a lot of FPL managers getting some low scores. Uh, it was a very frustrating week for you guys. Uh, but I was lucky. Uh, I think Sal and Diaby helped me out massively. Uh, so my old rank was 382k, now I'm at uh, 175k overall, so I'm well happy about that green arrow. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the team. Let's let's see what I, let's talk about what happened. So my transfer going into this game week I did uh, Sterling to Diaby. Uh, Sterling blanking, it was a knee-jerk move on the wild card in game week four. But Diaby came good. He came good. And uh, he got a cheeky assist near the end in that last goal for Villa in their 3-1 win against Palace. Uh, but yeah, I got Leno in goal. Uh, six points against Luton. Uh, well happy about that. Uh, Esther Pina didn't even wasn't even the squad. Uh, but I'm still going to keep faith and we'll talk about it in a minute for game week six. Uh, Ud Udodogi, uh, Spurs conceded to Sheffield United. Uh, that was crazy that. They were 1-0 down and they came back and scored two, two goals. Um, but yeah, so Uradogi losing that clean sheet once again. And Walker losing that clean sheet once again to West Ham and a 3-1 win against West Ham. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the midfield swiftly. Saka um, getting a assist, I believe. Was it an assist? I think Marcelo got the goal. Was it the goal or was it ruled out? I think it was... Oh, it was just Sardi got the goal. That's it. And Martinelli was ruled out. Then he got subbed off because he got injured, Martinelli. Uh, but Saka got the assist in that game. Talk about Salah as well, he could have got a hattie of three assists, he only got two. Uh, the third goal for Liverpool was looking like it was Harvey Elliott's goal, but it did hit, uh, go off uh, Bueno from Wolves, so uh, the assist did, the third assist did not go to Mo Salah, but he got two assists, so I'm well happy about that, like 25-26% owned. I've had him since game week two, I don't mean to brag, but he's King Mo Salah, I'm a Liverpool fan, I've had him since game week two. He's, he's been returned since game week one. He's returned every single game week. Um, Salah's essential. Come on, guys. Salah is essential. Um, but yeah, the next one is Madison. Everyone looking like, you know, in the community. Captain Son. I didn't fall for the hype. I fell for the Sterling knee jerk. I wasn't going to fall for the Son knee jerk. Um, kept faith in Salah again. Um, and Saka. Uh, but Son, it didn't work out for you guys with the captaincy and or anyone that owns Sal uh, Son. Uh, but I just, I, I went from, I kept Madison, uh, got it, he didn't do anything. He has got, uh, we'll talk about it a bit later as well, he has got Arsenal in the North London derby and he's got Liverpool next, so it should be quite interesting. <laughs> quite tough. Um, but then he has got like, later games, uh, easy, easier games in uh, Luton, Fulham and uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, Diaby was my transfer in going to, uh, for this week, that's just gone. Uh, five points, cheeky assist near the end. Uh, Jackson. Oh, there's a lot to talk about with Jackson. There's a lot to talk about Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, one point. He's showing like he's a bit of a flop. Going to be probably the flop of the season in this new look Chelsea. Uh, what to do with him? We'll talk about him uh, in about a minute or so. Uh, Erlen Holland. I kept faith in him, captain him. High ownership guys want to keep that uh, rank and, uh, you know, and, and he scored, he scored. So he'd have betting the song captain as well. I don't mean to mention it again. <laughs> I'm just saying, but he's Haaland, he's overnight. So I know some people, would, you know, were thinking maybe, maybe, but it wasn't the right moment, you know. And like I said, I might take a cheeky punt on a differential captain. Someone that's not Haaland nearer down the line later in the season, but... 
you know, he's got Forest next, and who else got? He's got Wolves next as well. So <laughs> he's Erlen Haaland over 90%, 92% owned. So he's, he's dangerous and it is a, a rank killer. It really is if you don't captain him or don't even own him. Uh, next one is Izek. Didn't even play. Didn't even play. Oh, he's on the bench. Um, but yeah, so you can see I've got um, Ariola four points. Gusto and Anderson will be coming on. Uh, so that will take my tally up to 54 points uh, and put me up 100, at uh, 175k overall. Uh, Gusto at 6 points and Anderson at 3 points. Uh, they will be coming on for uh, Estepinan and Isaac. So I'm happy about that. Um, some nice cheeky bench points coming off uh, for me. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so let's talk about... Um, we've talked about that. So that's where I am overall. There's about 9.8 million managers Um Let's let's get straight to uh, my team for game week six. I've done the transfer, guys. I'm, I've been trigger happy. I just thought to myself, sod it. If there's any injury news or any injuries or anything like that, sod it. Um, I've got about how much? Got about 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.7 in the bank, something like that. Since I've done the move, uh, yeah. Talk about it. Uh, I've got sick of Jackson. I've got sick of him. Um, so I've got rid of Jackson. Uh, Villa, you know, defense ain't great. I wanted to keep faith in Ezek. I know they've got Champions League for the first time in a, you know what I mean, Newcastle and but they got Sheffield United and I don't know, I just want to keep faith. I'm sick of uh, Jackson. Um, I just want to keep faith in Isaac. It's Newcastle, you know what I mean? So uh, I've done the move Jackson to uh, Alvarez, saved a bit of money as well. Uh, gained a bit of money in the bank. Uh, but they're st similar team as last week, to be honest with you. Uh, but Gusto's in this time. Uh, so we've got Leno in. He keeps his place. He's got Chris Pass at home, uh, away, should we say. Um, he's got some all right fixtures. He's got Crystal Pass. He's got Chelsea. Then he's got Sheffield United, Spurs, and then Brighton the next five games. Esther Pinan, um, I believe it was just because the manager was taking precaution because he returned from uh, international duty with Ecuador. And um, yeah, he just there was no injury or anything like that. So I imagine he will start. I know they've got the uh, Europa League. Uh, so he could possibly play a part in that, but I, I imagine he'll be back to normal duty, you know, that uh, attack and left back against Bournemouth, so I'm going to keep faith in him, he's over 60% owned as well, so another rank killer as well. Uh, Gusto's back in there, I know he's got Villa at home, uh, then we've got um, Walker in there, we're against Forrest at home as well, Saka against Spurs, North London derby, should be a fiery derby, goals at both ends. Uh, Salah at home to West Ham, then Madison away to Arsenal, Diaby against Chelsea. If Forrest can get something against Chelsea away, why can't Villa? Villa look exciting to watch. You know, Diaby with them long runs, great passes from the Villa players. And I think, you know, if you've still got Watkins, I know high ownership still got Watkins, keep him, start him, start him for this game, go for it. Um, I'm not that impressed with Chelsea. Um, next, we're going to talk about the front three, Alvarez and Haaland. Go for that double up. It's going to be a tough game. It's Forest. Forest are no mugs. They're going to, you know, make it difficult. They're not going to be like Fulham or anything, you know, a walkover team. Um, I think they'll make it really, really difficult. But I see City scoring at least two goals against Forest. At least two goals. So I'm taking that punt, getting Alvarez in. I think at this moment, as I'm recorded after the Forest burned the game on Monday night. Just touching 20, 20%, 19.9% is currently on by at the moment. Um, <clears throat> Holland captain, I'm playing it boring, but as I said, he's a rank killer. So uh, got Ezek in there as well, um, so I'm keeping faith in him. Bench-wise, Ariola, Anderson, Udadogi and Mengai from Luton. Mengai doesn't even play. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that that's what I'm going for. You know, we're talking about game week... Um, Seven, the double game week, Luton, they've got Everton, they've got Burnley. Um, I don't know I'm talking about or not. Now I might bring in for Mengai, get rid of him and bring in Kabore back in from Luton. I'm not so sure about Colton Morris and all that. This is for another video, but, you know, a bit of, you know, spoiler or something like that. What I might do is bring in for a free transfer, maybe Kabore back in for Mengai and start him and see what the hell happens. So that's that's what I'm going for. I'm pretty much happy with this team, uh, like I said, 175k, great week for me, um, 
and uh, yeah, talk about possible transfers as well. Well, not transfers, but transfer ins and outs. Uh, Alvarez getting a, quite a bit of love. Ward Prowse getting a bit of love. He's got Liverpool next away. Going to be a tough game. Um, Wemo, he's got Everton at home. Um, Botman and Salah going in in the top five. In the top five going down, Jackson, Ezek, Chiwell, March and Rashford. Yeah, uh, but I'm, like I said, I'm pretty much happy with this team, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, smash the like button, subscribe. Uh, get in the comments, guys. Get in the comments. Um, how did your week go? What are your plans? Are you wildcarding soon? Let me know. Get in the comments. I always reply to every single one of you. Love hearing from you guys. Take it easy, guys. I've been Calvin, FPL. Peace.